Well, how did I get here again? In this video, we're gonna be going over how to make popcorn. Okay, now this video is gonna have an easy level and a semi-moderate. Actually, they're both kind of easy, but whatever. So we got some regular popcorn that will pop in a wok, and then we have some that we'll do in the microwave. video we're going to be going over how to make popcorn. Everyone's stuck inside right now you might as well know how to make your own popcorn while you're keeping yourself entertained. So we're going to go through three levels here. One, microwave your own stuff. Two, it's going to be popping your own on the stove using Spiceology's own popcorn salts with butter, clarified of course. And three will be making our own butter. First, how to microwave your own popcorn. Let's see, it says right here on the box. Where? How do I do this? Okay. Step one, open the box. Set time, one and a half to two and a half minutes on high. Watch and listen. Open bag carefully, and then toss in whichever seasoning you'd like. All you have to do is just shake it up. There you go, shake it. And there you have it, congratulations, you've made popcorn in a microwave. You're good to go. Okay, we're on level two of popcorn making. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a wok. It's rounded all over. This is perfect for popcorn. Popcorn will pop and make their way up while the kernels will start making their way down and it'll just keep going. So you could do this with a wok or if you don't have a wok, maybe a bowl, something metal like this. They're usually flat bottoms so that works well on a electric stove if you have one of those like me. And if you don't have either of those, if you don't have either of those, any good old pot will work. Uh, honestly, that's the way we did it at work. One of the spots I worked at in Seattle, uh, we would do that in a pot. Just go ahead and pop it with some foil on the lid and that would be a really good bar snack. So you could do either or. I prefer to do it on the wok. It's much easier, makes a nicer product. So what I've got here is just some good old clarified butter, ghee. And I totally forgot to mention the way you make this clarified butter is by taking the butter in a pot, bring it to a simmer, and then just straining out all of those milk solids. And then just go ahead and put it in a container and save it in the fridge for later. There you have it. Ghee. Uh, do not use butter. If you use butter in this, it's going to burn. All those milk solids in there, they will burn. So you want to use a type of oil, fat. So I've got clarified butter here, which has all the milk solids out, or you could do canola or peanut, but obviously the clarified butter is gonna have way much more flavor. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of that butter in. And we're gonna do just a cup of the popcorn kernels. There's many of these Spiceology popcorn spices to choose from, but today I'm gonna be using the truffle parm. Just about two teaspoons of that can go in. Cover this with some foil. Now go ahead and poke a bunch of holes on the top of this. The reason why we want to poke holes is because we want to let all that steam out so the popcorn doesn't become soggy. Now we're just going to do this on medium heat. There we go. Now we wait. Once this begins to pop, we can start to go ahead and give it some agitation. Once the popping starts to slow down with about five to eight seconds between each pop, that's when you know you're good. You can add some more of the salt to taste if you want at the end. I like to add more because I love salt. And now there you have it. You've made popcorn on the stove. Look at you, getting better. Good job. Enjoy your popcorn. Uh, okay, so now the final level is making our own butter. Now I'm going to use a food processor, toss the cream in there, and then I'm just going to go ahead and keep whipping for about 7 to 10 minutes in the processor 
until the clumps of butter start to form. Now, if you don't have a food processor like this, I'd recommend using a stand mixer with a, with a paddle attachment. You just gotta keep it going. Now, if you don't have any of those things, you're shit out of luck. No, but really, you can make it without these things. Uh, you would just have to get a bowl and a whisk and keep going and probably go crazy. I don't know how long it would take by hand, but I'm sure it's possible. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and strain that mixture into a bowl and don't toss away the liquid because that liquid is buttermilk. Yep, that's buttermilk. You can use that for like making biscuits or maybe dredging fried chicken. Save that stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and rinse the butter in cold water about three to four times, changing out the water every time, just to take off all those solubles so the butter lasts longer. Now you wanna go ahead and save the butter in maybe a paper towel or some parchment paper and you can you know, just make it whatever shape you want. I have a little circle here, like this. And you can also maybe throw some herbs into your butter, different spices, like maybe some peppercorn thyme butter would be delicious. And just save it in the fridge. Maybe use it on your popcorn. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.